Feel Good Radio on 106.2. Hello and welcome back to Feel Good Radio 106.2. And now we're going to play you our brand new radio drama, Days of Disaster. And as we said before, it's a bit like EastEnders, only there isn't Peggy Mitchell screaming, Get out of my pub! Or Bianca shouting, Ricky! Instead, it surrounds various characters dealing with Murphy's Law. Oh yes, what can go wrong will go wrong. So have a listen and let us know what you think at our website, feelgoodradio.co.uk. Jack, can you help me with the shopping? Yeah. Here, Mum, pass me that. Thanks, love. Did you manage to get any plastic wallets for my coursework? Yeah, they're in the bag with the bread. Oh, your sister's left her bag here. Yeah, uh, I don't think she's gone to school, Mum. Her blazer is hanging up in the front room. Oh, for God's sake, not again! Hi, it's Sarah. If I like you, leave a message, and I'll ring you back. If I don't, then why do you even have my number? Sarah, it's Mum. You better get back home right now, or so help me, all your things will be in the bin and you'll be sent to live with your dad. Mum, it won't work. It never does. That girl won't ever listen. She's got no respect for anyone. Jack, enough. I don't need it in my life. Go on. Get yourself ready to go back to uni. I'll give you a lift back to campus. God. What's up? My mum has called me. I bet my brown-nosing brothers grasp me up. Babe, ignore it. She can't force you to go home. Yeah, but it really freaks her out when she doesn't know where I am. Go on, tell her. Tell her exactly where you are. Yeah, great idea. You what? Don't be giving me mouth. Do you want me to go to prison? Of course not, but... But nothing. They wouldn't understand. They don't think a 17-year-old should be with a 14-year-old. Unless you don't want to be with me anymore. Obviously I want to. Well, there's plenty of girls who do. That's not what I'm saying. Well, shut up then. Okay. And turn that thing off. Sorry. Please, Chels. I will make it up to you. Just please go get me it. But it's embarrassing. I know, but I really need it. Ben will kill me if I am. Please, take this. Just the clear blue one. You can keep the change. Thank you. I owe you one. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Yeah, well, I can't reply to text when you smash my phone, can I? Well, the screen is smashed, so I can't see anything. Sorry. Yeah, I'll get it fixed today. Okay. I love... You. Here, they didn't have clear blue, so I got two of these ones. You know, to be sure. Thank you so much. You're such a good friend. Where are you going to do them? I didn't even think of that. If Ben finds out, he'll kill me. You can do it at mine. Mum's working until six. Sir, I've seen the way that boy treats you. It's not right. It's fine, honestly. I annoy him sometimes. He just has a bad temper. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. There's no excuse. Come on, let's go to yours. It's freezing. And we're just going to break away from Days of Disaster very quickly just to give you a short news update. And we'll be back as soon as we can. Breaking news. A fight has broken out in the Houses of Parliament this afternoon after Article 50 was invoked by Prime Minister Theresa May and Brexit Minister David Davies. It would seem that Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn has accused the Conservative Party of falsifying evidence to encourage other members of Parliament to rush Brexit negotiation proceedings. A large number of security officers and police have taken a standby position outside the Houses of Parliament in case the fight gets out of hand. However, Speaker Burko was said to have regained control of the situation. Although now it is not known whether or not Article 50 will be triggered due to a pending investigation that now must formally take place. More as we get it. Thank you. Feel Good Radio on 106.2 
And we're back here at Feel Good Radio 106.2 and we do apologise for the break in our Days of Disaster premiere. We are sorry to those of you who are very interested by the show. However, our station promises to give you the latest news as we get it. But as they say, onwards and upwards. And so here is the second half of Days of Disaster here on Feel Good Radio on 106.2. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Mrs. Smith. It's Mrs. Jenkins. Sarah's head teacher calling. I'm just calling to ask if you'd be willing to come to the school for a meeting this afternoon. I understand it's short notice. However, Sarah wasn't in school again this morning and at present hasn't been seen. We've asked you to come in for this meeting as a formality. We need to speak to you in regards to Sarah's attendance. As you know, Sarah used to be at the top of her class, but over the past three or four months... Her grades have slipped. She's been skipping classes and when she is in class, she's been acting out. We were wondering if there was anything you could tell us about your home situation. As you probably know, sometimes children act a certain way but feel another. Because of this, I'd appreciate your support in referring Sarah to a counsellor. We don't think Sarah is coping very well at the moment, which is why we would like to refer her to a counsellor. However, without your full support, I along with the welfare and attendance officer, would be obligated to refer the matter to social services for a review. This is why we would like you to attend this afternoon. Please, if you could give the office a call by this afternoon to let us know. The meeting will be at 4pm in the examinations hall. If Sarah could attend as well, this would be an excellent time to discuss her work and work together to think of a way of getting her back on track with not only her grades, but also her attendance. Thank you. I do look forward to seeing you both this afternoon. Bye-bye. No, Simon, because she hasn't been home yet. Well, I can't go scouring the town for her. I have phoned her. Twelve times, in fact. Yes, the school has given me 21 days. Well, because... Listen, I've got to go. She's back. I'll call you back. Bye. Hiya, love. Sarah? Can you come in here, please? Sarah? Sarah, I've made you some tea. Can I come in? (laughs) Sarah! What's the matter? What's up, love? (laughs) Nothing. Leave me alone. Oh, come here. I can't help if I don't know what's wrong, can I? No! You hate me! That's never going to happen. Now, come on. Wipe your eyes and tell me what's going on. Well, you know I was seeing a boy. Ben. That 17-year-old. Mum, please. Sorry. Go on. Well, I I know I I told you I broke up with him, but... (laughs) I didn't, and he, he... He dumped me. (laughs) Oh, it's not the end of the world, love. I know it hurts now, but soon enough it won't anymore. You have to kiss a few frogs before you find your prince. So what happened? Well, Ben and I had a huge row and now I'm late, so I got scared and Chelsea and he helped me and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What do you mean you're late? What are you saying? Mum, I'm pregnant. That was just gripping, wasn't it? That was Days of Disaster here on Feel Good Radio 106.2, our brand new radio drama. If you like that, please do go to our website, feelgoodradio.co.uk, and give it a thumbs up on our homepage. There are also exclusive interviews with the cast, Elizabeth Cachia, Madeline McQueen, Rebecca Cutmore and Nathan Banks, as well as behind-the-scenes look on how the episode was recorded. If you or anyone you know has been affected by any issues raised in Days of Disaster, please get in touch via our website where we have our very own Agony Aunt to help you through those tough times. But now, it's goodbye from us here at Feel Good Radio, and we're going to leave you in the very capable hands of Tom and Kelly on Feel Good Radio's next show, Move to the Music. Thank you, and we'll see you again next week for the very next episode of Days of Disaster. Will Sarah keep the baby? Who knows? Tune back in and find out. Feel Good Radio on 106.2.